So it seems uh, they, they're gonna have this big plan, right? We're gonna take children from your mothers, we're gonna take children from your soul families. And then we put these children to our forest systems of school. And the target of the school is that they would study IT, they would study information technology, and uh, then they would kind of um, study biology, chemistry or something. And they would uh, go to university, and then they would graduate and start work for the lizard system. This was the end of the plan. The side benefits would be like uh, you get a good education and uh, you're gonna um, get a good reputation amongst the uh, other people, you know. So this is the original plan, but uh, it kind of had the uh, downsides. The main downside was that uh, people were forced to work, basically. So, so it's, uh, on the planet there was this kind of thing that. Um, If you don't work, your boss is going to accuse you, and it's basically an energetic attack from your boss. Mm. You know, they, they used to do this kind of thing, like they traumatize a group of people, and then they later use these traumas uh, as a source of uh, weak points, uh, key points to attack. So, kind of, um, let's say you're going to uh, ruin someone's life, like a uh, few li lifetimes ago. And then uh, later, you, you're gonna f because you exist in the fourth dimension, you come back and say, hey, he did, I know these people, he has weak spots there, 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 then I'm gonna attack these kind of spots. But because it's, they're like uh, from another dimension, they can see the various lifetimes of these people, they enter and they attack them. love to attack weak spots of others, so, so it's good if you want to be in communication with them, you should always have weak spots in your energetic body, because otherwise they have nothing to attack, but if you kind of uh, leave yourself uh, traumatized somewhere, they kind of uh, can notice this and they're kind of coming in and attacking you and providing this kind of communication for you. should be damaged and uh, these kind of uh, belief systems is it? There's a huge block um, about speaking the truth about the eighth uh, chakra of the person the planet. There's like huge uh, criminals uh, in a high level entities already know where they are but they're like uh, kind of hiding and they're like um, huge responsibility for blocking other people's uh, uh, chakras, like eight uh, chakras. So in the afterlife, if you move out from this body, or you die or something, you would like kind of enter dark systems where they say, hey, you know, this kind of negative karma, do you know that you need to, you need to really feel it bad, uh, like what you did, so you need to go back into this body. And this is causing all the birth traumas uh, because there are people are being forced into another body or something. There's a huge thing like the, if they know this is special soul, they take this uh, soul out uh, where. Whereas you know, choosing like a lucky like somebody has like um, good abilities or like is good at the intuitive reader or but uh, and this kind of uh, this kind of things is usually like you know, noticed and uh, like it's it's very hard to be incarnated into your true soul family. You always need to um, kind of accept some kind of criminal karma of others. This is how they hope to solve their karma is by by hoping that pure souls would enter their system and then they could bash this negative karma onto these pure entities.